Good evening, dear friends. Welcome to Faith in Action, our evening reflection. For today, I'm Dr. Prosper Tetedo from the United Kingdom. We'll be beginning with scripture and then we'll pray. Hebrews chapter 13, verses 5 to 6. Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. For what can man do to me? Amen. Lord, help us to be content with what we have and not allow the love of money to dominate our lives. Let us put on the full armor of God and learn to trust him in all circumstances. Amen. Today, our message is captioned faith in action. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 38 says, Now the just shall live by faith. But if anyone draws back, my soul has no pleasure in him. Living by faith is something you learn to do by practicing it daily. Before you became a Christian, you trusted in your own ability and intellect. But those things only took you so far. And no further right now you are trusting god for the wisdom guidance resources and ability to fulfill his will for your life the bible tells us by faith noah prepared an ark for the saving of his household hebrews chapter 11 verse 7. think about it when noah built the ark there was no sign of rain. Living by faith doesn't always make sense. It doesn't mean your problems will vanish into thin air. Sometimes faith changes your circumstances. Other times it changes your perspective. How? By giving you the tenacity to hang in there when the check doesn't come in the post or the doctor says the condition is incurable or your spouse asks for a divorce or the kids are running amok or the company where you have worked for the last 20 years closes its doors faith gives you the fortitude to endure confident that god will work things out on your behalf paul tells us faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 living by faith means one obeying god and believing he would never let you down. Two, following in the footsteps of ordinary people who did extraordinary things for God. And three, using your faith because you know it is the only currency heaven recognizes. When the Bible says the chance shall live by faith, it doesn't mean little, sporadic best of faith it means making faith a lifestyle thank you dear friend for reflecting with me this evening and remember to press on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already to receive future notifications of this evening reflection good evening and be your tomorrow be greater than today.